Rob, you've been vocal about sort of earlier in your career, doors not opening because you were the sort of quote unquote sort of pretty boy. Oh yeah, I, I, what are they, the list is actually kind of long. <laughs> they didn't want me to play, they didn't want me to play cops or detect, whatever it is. They but, just kept wanting you to play leading men, <laughs> love interests. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's boring, that gets boring. Boring. Yeah. I mean, when in your career did that change? And is, is the grinder a role that you previously wouldn't have been able to have? I think there's less great stand-ups mm -hmm. here. I, and a lot of people who are way more well-versed in comedy than I am and who have been way more well-versed longer than I am. Mm -hmm. I, I come to it as from being a, a dramatic yep. actor. Yep. So I have more of a focus because I'm transitioning to that to being funny. Mm -hmm. like, like on the grinder, we gotta be funny. Mm -hmm. And that was new for me. It started probably when I started teaming up with Mike Myers and Farley and Spade and all those things. It's probably where it started to happen for me. So you can either be the bigger person and just tell us who it is, or I will be forced to open that envelope. All right. Oh, you know what? I'll do it. Wait, what, 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 uh, uh. Grinder rest. Yeah, you see, I, I, you were supposed to say the name, right? First, and then open the envelope, read Grinder rest, and then be burned by that. Yeah, that would have been better. Why did you destroy this office? Who are you working with? The Grinder opens every episode with an episode of the fake show, The Grinder, And there are times, and I'm telling you, it looks like it's scandal. Yeah. I mean, it's like, we're doing Grey's Anatomy, man. Oh, sure, right, for right. sure. Yeah, yeah, right. right. And I'm definitely doing Caruso in CSI, man, but for, for realsies. Yeah. And, you know, every once in a while, the network will be like, will people know that it's funny? I'm like, <laughs> uh, they'll know. They got right. it. They'll right, know, right, right. right. But that's the thing is you, 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 gotta, you gotta play for keeps. What's the most embarrassing thing that's happened to you as a performer? Jeff? Here's the thing. I'm asked to open the Oscars. The idea was that I would sing and dance with Snow White while Merv Griffin would then appear singing I've Got a Lovely Bunch of Coconuts. And all of the old Hollywood establishment, Roy Rogers, Dale Evans, oh, yeah, yeah, would, yeah. would be acknowledged. And finally, Lily Tomlin would come out of a bunch of fruit. Sounds great, right? Yeah. 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 I mean, <laughs> what could go wrong? Yeah. I'm gonna give that a chance. We would all, we would all want to be a part of that. Yeah, sure. Yes. Right? Yeah. So we start, and, and it's apparent that the old people, God bless them, can't rise or wave. <laughs> so they're just they're they're like just sitting at the table. So that's flat. So it begins to die. Then the girl playing Snow White. She's been rehearsing with those play cards on the seats that say Meryl Streep, Tom Hanks. It's a play card. Yes. Now she's got actual Meryl Streep, right. Tom Hanks. Mm -hmm. So she freaks, and her voice goes up one whole octave. Oh, God. Oh, man. From what she's meant to be saying, so she's up like this. I finally come out, and I give her that look like, whoa, okay, you, it's me and you. <laughs> right, right, right. Nor Meryl. Yeah. So I start doing my bump and grind. By the way, I, I'm, I'm singing Proud Mary, but with Freedom's lyrics clear adjusted water. to the Oscars. Yes, yes. yes. of course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm in the middle of singing, and I, and I think actually I'm kind of killing it. Right. And, and I look out, and Barry Levinson is doing this. <laughs> 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 and, and he turns to the person next to him and goes, <laughs> oh, right. it's awful. Oh my God. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's not good. So <laughs> I go off, I go, I, I thought it was good. Barry Levinson didn't like it. <laughs> and, and I go into the dressing room, and there's this red headed older woman in the green room. It's the beginning of the show, so none of the celebrities are there. And she says, young man, I had no idea you were such a good singer. And it was Lucille Ball. Oh, oh wow. wow. And she says, come sit with me. And I sat with wow. Lucy, and we watched for 20 minutes of the Oscars, just the two of us. <laughs> and then she said, darling, I have a splitting headache. Could you get me some aspirin? And so I went and got Lucy what I thought was an aspirin. Oh, no. I gave it to her, and she died 48 hours ago. Oh, oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Wait a that second. wasn't the term I was expecting at all. Huh? What did you give her? What did you give her? I think it was an aspirin. Wait, wait, wait hold on. Wait, this is, wait, <laughs> wait, this is, wait, this is <laughs> way beyond yeah, embarrassing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told you. That's, that's, what's, that's what's great about hanging out with Rob. Like, his you know, Hollywood stories are all like, and then I look in right. there, and it's Lucille Ball. Right, right, right. <laughs> My stories are like, and then I look in there, and it's Mario Lopez. <laughs> <laughs>